This lesson, we're going to look at creating shapes and manipulating them based on a grid layout. So the grid that we're going to use is the rule of thirds grid. And when I created my new document, I created three columns. So now I'm going to create my rows. I'm going to go to the layout menu, down to the option create guides, and I want to change the number of rows to three. I'm going to leave the gutter the same, and I'm going to fit the margins, fit the guides to the margins. You can preview it to see what it will look like. I already have my columns, so I don't need to add any. Click OK. Now I can design based on the rule of thirds. You have a shape tool in your toolbox. It's about the eighth tool down. If you click and hold on it, you'll see all your options. By default, the rectangle tool will be there first. If you hover over it, it'll say rectangle tool. Click and drag on your canvas. You'll get a shape. It won't have a fill color, so you'll have to come over to your swatches panel and give it a color. You can set a specific size to your shape. If you click once on the canvas, if you're an American, you think in terms of inches. InDesign will automatically convert that for you. If you click OK, you have a 3 inch by 3 inch square. If you hold down the Shift button, you'll also get a perfect square while you drag. Let's look at the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool is for making circles. You can make ovals. Again, if we hold down the shift button, we can make a perfect circle. If you click once on your canvas, you'll also get the option to set in a specific dimension. The, uh, the last tool here is our polygon tool. You can create a lot of unique and interesting shapes using this tool. If you click once on your canvas, by default, your settings should be some, something like this. The number of sides at 5, the star inside at 0, and you'll get a shape similar to that. I'm going to clear some of these shapes. You can come up with a stop sign type shape just by changing the number of sides. You can create a triangle. You can also create a star by adjusting the star inset. What the inset does is it takes the midpoints of each line and draws it in toward the middle. That's your average star. You can start to get creative by exploring with those two different settings. Once you get something like this, the fill is too narrow, so you'll want to change the color by adjusting the stroke. We can rotate shapes also. You'll have to select it first with your selection tool. And then about halfway down your toolbox, you have the rotate tool. Looks like an arrow going counterclockwise. 
So you select that and drag one of your anchor points, you'll be able to rotate it. Let me sh show you on the star, it'll make more sense. 